Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 6. We are exploring Melanchion's realm before, I guess, heading out to deal with the final one of his main requests uh, that we are choosing to do. But uh, we have encountered this oddly placed mage's tower, and I'm not entirely sure yet if uh, they're here being tolerated um, by the dragon, or if they just don't care, or... <laughs> I mean, the dragon didn't mention them at all, so I guess if if he knew or, you know, cared if this Shafrir person was any any threat or nuisance to him, he would have asked us to, well, deal with the problem, probably, but um, maybe they're actually allies. Who knows? You step into the tower expecting instant retribution. Nothing attacks you, which is a nice change of pace. It's sort of warm and homey. The smell of ozone is heavy in the air, and flashes of blue light come from the top of the stairs. Yeah, just uh, warm and homey. You hear a man's voice shouting down from above. Come on up, visitors. I am a Shafrir. I won't hurt you as long as you display some manners. Some manners. You should specify. Good or bad? Ooh, curing elixir. Never mind. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, not locked, but trapped. That's always fun. Okay. Hello, Shafrir. You meet the owner of this tower, elderly, dignified, and well-groomed. You suspect that he is originally from the surface, but he has been down here for a long time. When he sees you, he looks thrilled. Ah, a visitor, an Evernight, one who might even be able to help with my work. Once I disdained your kind, but I have come to appreciate that you have your own sort of skill and courage. He is in high spirits. Hmm. But no more babbling. I am Shafrir. Please, come forward. Let me inspect you. Come, don't be worried. It uh, will take but a moment. He stares openly at your equipment, gauging its quality. He nods. Adequate, but not impressive. Excuse me? I doubt it's going to be any more impressive before the end of the game. Um, what are you doing here? Well, I had to live somewhere, didn't I? He laughs. Despite my powers, I am still unable to return to the surface, so I looked for a place to plot my home far from intruders. This place seemed convenient. Um, how did you build this tower? Just a bit of magic. Create a few constructs and rest for a few days, and then move my things in. Magic is a great comfort, once you have mastered it. I, yeah, I'm sure it is. And does Melanchion bother you? Does he even know about you? The, the, the dragon. <laughs> the dragon does not mind me. I do some work for him. He lets me be. There is a certain mutual respect. Okay. Let's assume that's true. His followers are, are eerie and simple, but no more so than most people. I simply avoid them. What will you do with the tower when you leave? Oh, just I just leave my towers behind. Someone can make use of them. Hopefully not monsters, but who knows what will happen, really. Hmm. Right. Uh, what sort of work do you do here? Crafting. Life is long, and I have been working on mastering all of the magical arts. I have created this workshop. I have learned the techniques. Only one thing is missing. What? Materials. Such as I am sure you have gathered in your travels. He points at the book by the west wall. My focus of study, uh, my focus of study now is to liberate the innate power in gazer ice dogs. Yeah, we do have a few, a few of those. You should look in that book. If you can provide the correct materials, I can create equipment for you. Or try to. In magic, nothing is certain. He laughs. Huh. Uh, where are you from? Uh, once I lived on the surface. Then I came to the underworld to sample the freedom you underworlders always go on about. I lived in the northern reaches, where I had a very useful task to perform. Then I was forced to leave, so I came here. Why did you leave the surface? The Empire places strong restrictions upon what mages are allowed to do. Even in these supposedly enlightened times, those harsh restrictions remain. Thus many of us came down here to do proper work. What was your work in the Northern Reaches? Actually, I was working in opposition to the Anama, a cult of the confused who believe that magic is evil and must be resisted. They even had ways of placing bonds on people so that they could not even use magic. I searched for ways to remove those bonds. Happily, I succeeded, although the Anama in the Low Caves are now too busy to spread their bizarre dogma. And what happened to those Anama? The Anama of Sanctuary? He laughs. They have been besieged by the Slith Horde for months. 
holding them off, I'm surprised to say, but the Horde has no qualms about using magic on them. They'll see the foolishness of their beliefs soon enough. Hmm. Can you craft something for me? He jumps toward you with almost childlike enthusiasm. Yes! It has been so long since I could practice. Let me see what you have, and I will get to work. He looks over your supplies. A ring. Five focusing crystals. Yikes. That's going to limit how much uh, I will be able to do here. Two fine steel, manrake tincture, and an ice dog. And of course, no mention of what it's going to do. But that's uh, expected. A halberd. Hmm. Could this actually be good? Demon Spile, Ice Dog. A robe. Six fine leather, Mandrake Tincture, Ice Dog. A shield. No, thank you. Shoes. Hmm. Those better be some damn fine shoes. Three crystals, one fine steel, one fine leather, Demon Spile, and Ice Dog. Yeah, I mean... That's some pretty expensive stuff right there. How much of that, of all of that do we have? We have four Ice Dogs, actually. But only two Demon's Bile. And I think they all of the things also require Demon's Bile, right? Um, we do have 13 Focusing Crystals. And as much Fine Steel. Enough Fine Leather. So I can make prob probably like two things. But, I mean, chances are that none of the things are actually going to be worth making. What else do we have here? Ooh. Bars of Iron that you're not too interested in. Okay. What are these things? Crystal Pylon glows brightly. Uh, it occasionally sends a spark of energy toward the anvil. Okay. None of our concern, I suppose. What is this? I can use you. Can you? Um, unbelievable speed. Uh, <laughs> that's not going to be very useful. It's going to run out. Oh, wait. No, that's actually extra action points. Yep. Yeah, that's neat. But if there's nothing to fight right here, it's not really going to do anything. What's the book say? You flip through the book. It's a set of instructions for crafting certain un uh, certain enchanted items. A note near the beginning provides a helpful summary. You will need a geyser's ice dog first, still bearing all of its natural power and juices. Hmm. Juicy ice dogs. We proceed from we proceed from there. Protective ring, protective ring. Hmm. Focusing crystals. Yeah. Halberd of power and mighty impact. I mean, that sounds good. But um, I'm not holding my breath. Uh, magic focusing robe. Yeah. Okay. Shield of Lightness and Altering of Time. Okay, so presumably one that just gives you an extra action point. Sandals with the Gazer's Power. I think we might have those. Or oh, are we still in combat? Uh, what am I doing? Yes, I am. I was. Uh, let me just reload, actually, and not use that basin, just in case we actually need it somehow. I'm, I really don't think the effect is going to last long enough to to be worthwhile. Oh, you right. Gazer skin sandals. Gazer skin sandals. I forgot that those were a, um, a warrior's item. Hmm. Would I want another pair of these? 16 armor, 10% hustle effect resistance, 10% stun. Um, I mean, I wouldn't mind them, necessarily. Honestly. Both of you guys could definitely use an upgrade in the shoe department. Huh. I mean, I guess I would happily replace these clover boots with Gaze's skin sandals. Although they are three more pounds, so he would actually be encumbered. Ugh. She would... No, she would not be fine because he's only way one. Dang it. Hmm. I mean, that's a, lo a minor annoyance, but obviously they would be big upgrades. I I'm pretty sure I don't need this extra point of pre-spells uh, to be able to cast everything. So that would be fine in that regard, but... Well, let's uh, just check out what these things are. Uh, it's not He's not giving us any quests, right? Crafting is literally all he does for us. Yeah, seems like it. Anyway, so let's just see what these things even are. Let's see what those shoes are. Uh, Gazes can sandals, yes, okay. Uh, and the shield is a quicksilver bulwark. And I guess we can also still make the ring a blessed armor band. Uh, okay, so, I mean, yeah, obviously these are good. These are definitely an option if nothing else is better. And we could make two of these. Uh, Quicksilver Bulwark, uh, Battle Speed, yep, Anatomy, Lethal Blow. I mean, it's a decent, pretty offensive shield, if I needed one. Blessed Armor, um, yeah, it's a good protective ring.
but I'm not super interested in that. Um, well, the Hellbird. Jade Hellbird. Okay, it's not one I've seen before, so that's potentially good. And the robe is a robe of the Magi. First the robe. Spellcraft, resistance, magical efficiency. That's a pretty good robe. Pretty solid. 18 armor, 5 pounds. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't provide major priest spells, but it's obviously superior in every other way. Way more protective. Yeah. That's a that's definitely a good robe. Is it crucial though? I mean, I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference at all. And actually I'm gonna just quickly check. His mage spells is only at 17, so actually I'm not sure if he can. Ah, it doesn't tell me. Wait. Can I uh, Arcane Blow? Uh, it needs 17. So I actually cannot reduce his mage spells. His mage spell level. And still cast Arcane Blow. That's, um, yeah. It's a bit of a problem. Divine Host only takes 17, right? So she can actually afford to to lose some pre-spell skill. He can't. Hmm. I don't know. Would I want to give that to her? I guess I... Yeah, it definitely would be an upgrade, except slightly less armor, but it, that shouldn't be a problem. As we've seen earlier, or last episode, I guess, she already has the highest armor in the party, actually, so this uh, is not a big problem. Hmm. Well, it's definitely an option. But now, how good are you? Jade Hellbird. Acid Blade. Okay, I mean, I kind of like that, except, of course, there are going to be enemies that are resistant to it. But then there are enemies who are resistant to physical, so, you know. 20 to 80. 22 to 66. Hmm. Dexterity doesn't do much for him. Protection from weapons. Hostile effect resistance. Dare I say that this seems like a good weapon? I mean, if we just look at the base damage it provides here, and not really knowing how many more acid resistance en resistant enemies there are compared to physical resistant enemies. Um, it looks like it should definitely deal more damage overall, and including higher maximum damage. I do like those extra resistances. I mean, the 10% hostile effect resistance should already make up for the 10% cold resistance. I don't know if they're exactly one-to-one -one equivalents, but, you know, cold resistance isn't usually a big concern either, uh, anyway. Uh, Dexterity provides some dodge chance, I suppose, but that's about it. Yeah, honestly, I think we keep this one. And we might even want to keep the robe. Can we still make one set of sandals? We can. Huh. Do I just do that then? The halberd, the robe, and the sandals? Give the robe to her, I suppose? Slightly less armor, but again, not a problem. Mage spells, priest spells, she doesn't... She doesn't need those extra priest spells. She's gonna be fine. She's not losing any spells. Arcane lore doesn't matter anymore, I don't think. One point of spellcraft replaced by three. And she gets extra magical efficiency for what it's worth. Honestly, that's not really doing anything at this point, probably because of diminishing returns, but... Yeah, I think that's just a nice upgrade. And she's much more lightweight now. Could this possibly be an upgrade for him? It would... It would retain the extra mage spells. It would be more protective. It is heavier, obviously. Yeah, it's gonna encumber him. Hmm. He would lose one point of spellcraft, though. And gain only arcane lore. And some armor. 
at the cost of being encumbered. I don't know about that. Honestly, I'm, I think I'm just gonna keep the robe. If anything, if I do end up getting more... Um, I suppose we need one more demon spile, really? Maybe another focusing crystal or so? Actually, we used up exactly all of our leather, too. Hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, I could potentially make another robe, ultimately. What it comes down to. I would have to increase his mage spells manually by another level, but I suppose we can probably do that. And then the robe would be a straight upgrade for him. How much do we need for it again? It doesn't give us exact numbers, does it? Uh, that's lame. Much of the finest leather. Okay, so that's actually going to be it. Yeah, that's a problem. We're not going to get enough leather, so I guess that's just not happening. But again, it's also not not a huge deal whatsoever. Okay, so do we just give these sandals to you? Dexterity and stun resistance versus a lot more armor. Twice the armor. Hostile effect resistance and less stun resistance, but still some. I guess we could technically give her the gazer skin sandals. Because now she can use the... Uh, she can actually carry the extra weight. Hmm. No, I think our warriors need that. That armor. That overall protection, first and foremost. And she's already pretty well protected. I mean, I guess I'm happy enough with that. suppose he, he got the most out of this deal, but, you know, that's fine. Let's hope the Halberd is actually really a lot more powerful. As much more powerful as it seems. And we were losing the Jinx Blade effect, of course, which, you know, was nice to have, but we can always apply that manually if we need to. I guess I'm gonna hold on to the blade, but I suppose I'm committing to spending those resources. I guess that's okay. I'm, I think I'm going to save this one, right? Do I? Maybe I could make two robes instead, instead of those sandals. But they are a nice upgrade for for Xaz, aren't they? How are we looking stats-wise now? 80 armor, 84 armor. Okay, so he just uh, pulled right past her. Which is okay. Now he has more armor and more health. Previously, it was kind of balancing out. He was he had slightly less armor, but more health to make up for it. Um, yeah, she's no longer the party l leader in armor, which you know it seems more appropriate, but it's still obviously way up there. Ooh, mental resistances have shifted. Hers is down to fifty-two, but everyone's kind of down. She's still no, oh, never mind. Suddenly, Ayali is the highest has the highest mental resistance. Hmm. Wait, how did she lose out so much? The vest didn't provide any. Huh, I'm not actually sure why that dropped since last time I checked. It didn't drop a lot, but a little bit? Yeah, she has now the rune plate, so she now has the rune plate. So that's how she gained some extra. Maybe Lulu's didn't even change. It's just that Ayalis is now higher. Anyway, obviously none of this min-maxing is necessary even on hard difficulty except for those couple of poorly balanced bosses i suppose everything else you know we don't really need to worry so much about at all okay seriously though how are we supposed to enter this tunnel here does this just open nope There's no visible way in again i mean we don't need to we don't need to uh, get in there anymore, but... Hmm. Maybe if we hadn't already finished the quest, then something would trigger here, and because we already... You know, turned the quest in immediately as soon as we got it, basically. Um, we'll now never be actually able to open this back entrance uh, to Farrar's Keep, which I suppose is fine. Doubt we're missing out on much, if anything. Well, okay, I guess we're just uh, moving on then. We got more spiders to deal with, yay. Huh? 
quick oh no I didn't mean to do that I meant to do that Let's save again another Aronia mage I mean it makes sense I guess there was only that one archmage that was also protecting a an actual spellbook surprisingly new halberd okay I mean there was a mighty blow so I expected it to deal good damage. Also, spiders aren't resistant to to acid, to my knowledge. I guess that's going to be the biggest the biggest factor. How many enemies are actually resistant to acid, right? And unlike with uh, Ayali stool wielding, we only have that you know Xaz only has that one damage type. Unless I guess he switches mid combat, which, you know, so long as I hold on to that other halberd, he can still do that. Uh, just burn them all? Oh, or don't burn all of them because this one's. Yeah. Not within range. Oh, okay. Lightning does not work against spiders. Noted. I suppose. I still didn't like that though. Not one bit. Kill one spider. Um, yeah, fire definitely seems to work better against them. A lot better. What are you doing there? Total terror? Stop it. I'm gonna have to deal with that, but we might also need to save his life. Hmm. Can you guys maybe kill one of these spiders here? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Nice one. I mean, the new Halbert is definitely not working uh, less effectively than the previous one, so that's nice. Unshackle that mind. And burn those things. Ouch. Big ouch. Okay. Oh, wait. Interesting. So the acid blade actually deals physical damage and applies acid. So it's not even... Okay. I guess I... The same must be true then for Ayali's uh, sword, oozing sword or whatever it's called. I don't think it's oozing, but um, you know, her acid acid blade. I just assumed, I guess, that it would have that damage type associated with it, but I guess not. Um. Ah, oh, the fire is not. Oh, no, never mind. I guess fire is still somewhat effective even against an Aranea. Wait, I, unless I... Except I, I actually tried that and it didn't seem to be that effective. Hey, you actually leveled up. 11 points. Hmm. Right, the priest spell's still at 18 and I don't really see that lowering ever. I mean, even if I do replace her sandals eventually with, with something less, uh, you know, less basic... She's still gonna go all, only down to priest spell 17, and that's still gonna be enough to cast everything, so I don't need to worry about that at all. I could get her intelligence up to 10 just to be on the same level as our mage. You know what? That's, that only seems appropriate. There we go. Sparkcraft would have been cheap, cheaper, but you know, more um, more mana is actually obviously useful. Group heal. I guess I don't need to worry about the. Don't need to worry about the uh, poison that was going on there because we were also regenerating, healing herbs. Sure, feels like we haven't found any normal herbs in a very long time. We got a bunch of banshees randomly wandering the waste here. Okay. No idea what's up with that. 
The servants of Melanchion have not settled this region yet. It is still a forest of odd stone formations dotted with the signs of many small skirmishes. Instead of settlers, you see defenders. Many creatures wander among the stones hunting for prey. Someone must have bred or summoned a variety of perilous fauna to hunt these lands for intruders. Somehow, you doubt that these creatures will respect the scale Melanchion gave you. Um, I don't know that I would call banshees uh, fauna? Hmm. <laughs> That term does not seem to apply, but, you know, they're hostiles nonetheless. And so long as we can harm them with our poisonous blade, we absolutely can. Holy crap, what was that? 332 points of damage? I mean, I'll take it. Certainly unexpected, though. Looking at their hit point numbers, I was expecting them to be maybe a bit of a pain to deal with, but... They do seem to take quite a bit of damage from everything I've thrown at them so far, so that's nice. Of course, there are also quite a few of them, and they are about to swarm us, and they might do things like fear us and do other nasty things, so it's probably gonna uh, get nasty pretty soon here. Okay, they can definitely deal significant damage, holy crap. Okay. Yeah, I definitely expected more, you know, nastiness in the form of debuffs, and not just straight up um, super high damage. Thankfully, we invested in quite a bit more survivability lately, so... Yeah, that hurts, though. Holy crap. Okay. Good, we should be able to finish that one off soon enough. Nice hit. Yeah, that's definitely physical damage. I mean, I don't know that I need it to confirm that even more. Uh, are we going to be fine not healing? I mean, I will kill this one. This Banshee is probably going to... I mean, it should be focusing on Xas, and then we only have two more. We're going to do anything. I think we're going to be fine. And you can actually maybe aggravate both of these a little bit more. Like so. Okay, and this one even decided to keep attacking Saz. Alright, awesome. You can head over here. You can maybe finish off this one, yes, you can. I guess they are just really squishy. Hmm. Sure, I'll do two of those. Don't mind if I do it. Well, there's some actual hostile fauna that deserves that name. It does not seem to be attacking us yet. So much for the Banshees. That was a bit random, but um, they were not actually as bad as they seemed. Okay, what are we... Oh, what am I missing up here? Huh. Another empty, seemingly purposeless little tunnel. Hmm. That's certainly a bit odd, yeah. I mean, I, I'm gonna assume that... There is no visible opening mechanism because something would have just triggered if we had approached with a still uh, the quest still active. But since that is not the case, you know, there's nothing happening there. And I suppose this is just nothing. There's just nothing here. I did try to check for items, right? Yeah. Hmm. Who knows? And... This might lead to something a bit more interesting. Sure keeps going. Flaming Shrub. Hello. Okay, this just con connects over to this little bit of shoreline. Of course, there was no mention of any boats. Oh, there is a dock, though. Could there be a boat? 
that sure would be interesting if if there was just a boat there for us to use to explore those islands. Hmm. Oh, we're going to be shot at here. I think I'm just going to try to approach in such a way that we can reach melee range next uh, next turn. And until then, we're just going to take whatever attacks can reach us in here. Ouch. Okay. Uh, 214, 399. Okay, that's... Um, hey, you have found the ruins of a dock. First, Evernites used it to launch the boats that settled the northern frontier. Then the Slitherikai seized it. From here, they launched attacks against the few enemy settlements in the northern isles. Now the forces of Melanchion have taken the docks. They have no use for a navy. Instead, they planted a variety of hostile flora to inconvenience anyone who would try to pass through here, including most likely you. Well, including, evidently, us. And no boats, of course. That's a shame. So I guess there's a decent chance that we're never going to be able to explore those the northern isles in this game. But, you know, we'll see. Hmm. Mighty... I guess technically I could go for a Divine Retribution, take two more steps and draw all the aggro to her. I don't know. I mean, I was going to do this, which is already going to aggravate, well, at least these three things. But actually, we're going to kill one of them, so it's fine. He's already taking some damage, though. Hmm. We'll see how this plays out. Oh, okay. Yeah, just attack our arguably tankiest character, so, you know, that's fine. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I suppose we're, we're going to finish them off with... You know what? Why not? Divine Retribution. There you go. Eh, it's okay, I suppose. I suppose it did the job. Um, why don't you use your arcane blow? Can you get all three of them? Yes. No haste. And of course, they all survived. But yeah, they're really more a nuisance than a real threat, thankfully. Still gonna heal up for good measure. Do you like lightning? get some tools and a slith spear. Some fine steel. Um, not what I need. Some leather would be nice, but again, I doubt that I'm going to get enough for another one of those items. Oh, hold on. Another spear on the ground. All right. A lightning crawler. Hello. I guess there is just um, a decent variety of different critters that have been placed here. I mean, is the idea that Melanchion placed them here? But then, why would they be hostile to us? I guess they're just not advanced enough creations to, you know, really um, be able to differentiate between friend or foe to detect those special permits, of which we happen to have one. Okay. Interestingly, unlike the non-lightning version of these, I suppose, uh, these lightning crawlers seem to be relatively tanky. They're resisting quite a bit of damage. Whereas the, the normal versions, the non-transparent ones, always felt pretty squishy. Hmm. And of course, true to their name, they do apply the lightning debuff, the, you know, 
everyone's favorite. Uh, did I already weaken this one? I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm just gonna go for a mighty blow here. No haste procs for anyone. It's a shame. I guess I'm gonna go for a, a war blessing here just to speed things up a little bit. And I guess I'll see if these can be dazed. Uh, yes. Okay. Thankfully, they don't deal a ton of damage. Of course, uh, I should start... Ooh, that was a nice one. And some haste as well. Very very good. <clears throat> yeah, we should definitely start healing. Or else, obviously, it is going to be... A, it's going to become problematic. Okay. Ooh, that was a nice one. Okay. Um, can you just... Hold on. Mighty Blow. Smite. Yeah, that worked. Hmm. And this one already hates you. Fine, we heal you up. How about we get that acid going early? Weaken your defenses, get parried, of course. Oh, holy crap, 300 and 170. Yep, that's that was pretty nice. Okay, lightning debuff. Fighting against the regeneration effect. Okay, not a big deal. And we got another connecting tunnel here. Ooh, we got it way down though. Interesting. Only the second, well, third, I guess, technically, entrance to the underground in these in these lands. Once again, I'll keep it in mind. I want to at this point. I, I just want to finish off exploring the overworld portion of this, of these caves. Rotting Shamblers. Yet another kind of... of beast. How tough are you guys? Um, yeah, I mean... Nothing that seems too out of the ordinary. Also, these tend to be pretty... Um, physically weak. Or weak to physical attacks. Yeah, that seems to be working. Uh, they also tend to not like fire. I don't think they're close enough to be affected with uh, a rain of fire, though, so, or divine fire. Let's see how cold fares against them. I can't remember right now. Okay, that works just fine. Well, <laughs> that can happen, I suppose. Um, what did I say I wanted to do with his points? Oh, he needs mage spells, which is super expensive, but... Also, he doesn't technically need it, but... Increasing mage spells by one would allow him to, well, change his rope for something better. If I ever get my hands on one. I mean, I could always find an, you know, an upgrade for him. So having that little bit of wiggle room, where he's not exactly at the cap, or exactly at the required uh, value, would be good. So I think I'm going to keep saving his points. I mean, in hindsight, obviously, I wish I had um, increased that instead of Spellcraft or something, but I mean, it's obviously not a big deal right now. Um, and who knows if, I, if I'm going to remember by the time he levels up again. If we're even going to see another level up before the game is over, who knows? I really don't know how much more there is left at this point. Definitely could just end pretty abruptly. But we'll see. Okay. 
Okay. Flawless crystal. Ooh. Still finding those, huh? I guess there's no reason why we wouldn't. Uh, there. Yeah, right, these blighted mushrooms as well. That is certainly odd. I mean, they were in a... They were in that slightly little, uh, hidden little uh, section as well. Oh, okay. There were more of these. Right, and then there were those there are those crystal wormkin that we saw earlier. Okay. Uh, yeah, why don't you guys wait back here while we prepare just a little bit more. Well, actually, preparations are pretty much complete now. Ah, okay. If only one of them is gonna attack us at a time, I guess I'm perfectly fine with that. sure if both of them would, would attack us, but I'm just happy so long as the, the Wormkin aren't already jo uh, aren't also joining. I mean, two of these Shamblers obviously we've dealt with before. Moments before. So we know that those aren't really a problem. Oh, okay. Hey there. <laughs> Did not expect another one to come from there. Uh, AI, what the heck are you doing? Okay, please, uh, yeah, just make sure in this case to step uh, over there manually. Four hundred thirty-four damage. That might just be the highest chunk, the largest chunk of damage I've dealt, period. I certainly don't remember an, ever seeing a, a number that large or larger. That's uh, pretty impressive. Oh, crystal one? Okay, right. We hadn't seen a crystal one. Just the Inferno version. Oh, we're not hasted anymore. Oh, well. I forget what these things do. Do they explode or something? We're about to find out. Um, well, kind of. It's just poison, though. No big deal. I guess I'm gonna cure it just because. There you go. No reason to endure that. You know, if we don't have to. Yeah. Okay. Inferno worm can do what you would expect, I suppose. Do these explode? Seems quite possible. They do not. Well, that's even better, I suppose. Um, I mean, they're probably going to be immune to fire, right? So there's not even a point in trying. Just blast them with that, which was also honestly a little bit underwhelming. Hmm. And we've started killing this one, so I guess we're gonna finish the job. Come on, please, please kill it. That would be nice. Yeah, close enough, I suppose. They can definitely deal some damage, so we're gonna make sure there's not gonna be some avoidable tragedy here. Okay, can we reach any of them? Nope. And are they gonna run away from us? Possibly. Well, you can actually do something, so I guess... Attack. Hmm. I don't know. I, I guess just... Uh, smite this one. I could try to daze them just so they don't run away. 
Oh, this one, even though it really didn't have to, still chose to run away, annoyingly, but oh well. Okay, thanks for the, the strong hit here. Okay, another really good one. I like it. It looks like these are probably the last creatures we have to deal with here. Ah, nice. Okay. There you go. Cure that poison and we're good otherwise. There's a digging spot. Can you? Oh, you can. Ah, interesting. Of course you can sneak in through that diagonal uh, for some gray mold. Oh boy, I might absolutely be missing things here. Oh, it looked like there was something on the ground, but I guess not. Oh, I guess at this point we've seen we've seen everything. There could be some hidden digging spots. This this here had some herbs. This nest we plundered. Yeah, that's actually the first one. Okay, that's where where we encounter the first group of spiders. Okay, well, I, I suppose that means that we're that we've actually seen everything. Yeah. Disappointingly, no boat here, but who knows, maybe we're going to send to the Northern Isles yet for whatever final leg of the game. Um, interestingly, oh no, you know you know what, never mind. I was going to say, we did not run into either the Demon or the Gazer, but no, of course, we're going to run into them. Uh, specifically, the Gazer is going to be down here, has to be, and the Demon is going to be probably down this hole here. But the hole and the and this mine here might actually end up being connected. It's, oh, or this could just absolutely be nothing. Um, no, I want all of those, please. Thank you. In fact, I want that one as well. And while this is pretty dark, it does not actually appear like there is anything here, any trickery going on. Okay, that's literally all it is. Well then, demon or gazer? I don't know. Let's, I mean, we're here, so might as well start working on this. I don't know if we're going to make it to the demon, let alone defeat it before the end of the episode, but we'll see. Get some imps. Feeding imps. Everything around here seems to be, you know, have seems to have health around the 500-ish mark. Which I suppose is fair. We can usually, unless they have specific, uh, you know, unusually high resistances, um, we tend to be able to deal with that that kind of health pretty quickly. You know, it would have seemed daunting not too long ago, and I guess part of me still hasn't quite um, internalized that it's you know no longer really necessarily that bad. Soften that one up a little bit. I guess we'll test a good old Repel Spirit. Yeah. It's just not working against demons. Ever. <clears throat> well, I did not actually mean to click on that one, but I guess that's fair. Dead is dead. Okay, Smite is also not working as well as I would have expected here. Surely fire? Oh, actually, oh, never mind. I keep thinking that imps are somehow naturally fiery creatures, but I guess they're not. Hmm, 100 health still, huh? Maybe I should have finished this one off, but I guess uh, we're doing that now. Okay, that was just a minor distraction, obviously. Uh, I guess they were feeding on some poor adventurous remains. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, we make it to the other side. I didn't even consider that. That's neat. Are they going to be the remains of some sort of cave or fortress that I seem to remember then? Or is it just is it just going to be the demon hanging out on this ledge? The sounds of howling and screeching grow louder. Ah, of course. Um, then they are joined by the even less reassuring sounds of claws scrabbing up rock walls. Scrabbling up rock walls. And then creatures climb over the edges, over the ledges behind and ahead of you. Yep. Okay. Uh, thankfully, we're still somewhat buffed. Uh, determined to add your bones to the piles already here. I guess this is just really all there is, huh? Just a demon ambush? The quest might even have mentioned demons and not just a demon. Demonic intruder. No, never mind. Hmm. It is speaking about an intruder specifically. Oh well. How tough are you guys? Yeah, okay. Not individually that bad, but of course there are four. Uh, four. Yeah, there are six of you. Hmm. Mostly caves and some fire demons. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, should we focus on one group first? I guess so. We're slightly closer to the, the ones in the back, maybe. Also, we're not we don't know what's actually ahead of us, so this seems like the safer approach. Okay, that's a definitely definitely a reassuring start. Okay, we do need to re refresh our haste. I don't think days works against these kinds of demons. Although, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I'll give it... give it a try. Yeah. Unless these have approached us. Oh, it looks like the other fire demon has not even seen us. But yeah, they're also really not as as dangerous as you might think. You know, now we're gonna heal you just to be on the safe side. And just because I'm curious. Yeah, I mean, they all resisted, obviously. It wouldn't tell me that they're basically immune. Even if it's 100% resistance, you know, 100% chance to resist. The only way to find that out would be to actually, you know, <laughs> cast a spell hundreds of times and not succeed once. Then we'd know for sure, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're so resistant as to be virtually immune, if not outright immune. Again, what I thought, but... I guess now we know. So what do, what do we do against the likes of you? Arcane Blow, I suppose, is an option. I'm definitely guessing that fire is not going to be the way. But I suppose we always have acid. Ouch. Um... Yeah, you should be able to just walk there, no problem. Okay. Easy enough. Yeah, Hawk took a bit of a beating, but we also recovered a huge amount. Holy crap. Restored over 100 health with first aid. That's, uh, that's quite, a, quite a bit. Okay, for some reason I thought he still had an action point left to attack with, but I guess not. Uh, shield breaker. Okay, let's let's experiment. Yeah, as I thought. No fire damage against you. Nice. Okay, obviously we did not encounter, uh, encounter? Not recover nearly as much after this encounter. But, is there gonna be, yeah, there's an actual dungeon here. Well, I don't know how much of a dungeon it's gonna be. We have less than five minutes left though, really. When you get close to this pit, you find that the crude stone steps soon end in a sheer drop. If you slid down this tunnel, oh, you wouldn't be able to climb back up. And you might well end up in a pool of lava. Well, that would be bad. The air rising from the tunnel is very hot, and the sulfur scent is mixed with the reek of rotting flesh. Something very nasty is down there. Hmm. 
you know what? Why don't we actually end the episode here? That seems like a bigger thing than I was expecting, to be honest. And this warning, well, it's really... You, you really just don't know um, how seriously to take that kind of warning, because, you know, what kind of level are we expected to be at here? Probably, well, certainly a lot, a lot lower than we are, but this might still be on the level of some of those impossible... Um, impossible until we lower difficulty uh, kinds of encounters that we've dealt with in the past, right? We don't know. It could just be a side quest that's just around the same level. I mean, the enemies leading up to this were obviously, uh, you know, barely worth noticing, but um, barely enough to slow us down. But the boss might be a complete, completely different matter. So it's really, there's no way of knowing until we actually face them. And this obviously makes it sound like once we enter, we won't be able to leave until, well, we find some sort of exit or make it, you know, or defeat the boss. Although I'm, I'm really not sure where we would end up. Where would we emerge if this is a one-way trip? Huh. Well, I suppose we'll find out. Um, but we'll find out next time. I'm pretty confident that we can do this, but, you know, if I have a hard save before we ever enter, that would f make me feel a little bit better. Um, so... As always, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.